AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada was a spiritual disruptor of the highest caliber. In 1966, at the age of 69, homeless, penniless and alone, he arrived in the Lower East Side of New York, searching for better opportunities to share the message of the Bhagavad Gita. This was Skid Row, the lowest of the low. Here he lived, worshipped, studied and taught. Every evening, his decrepit residence, the rat-ridden 94 Bowery, would fill up with buzzing acid heads, bearded bohemians, ruined alcoholics and disillusioned dropouts, sex, music, LSD and consciousness expansion. That's what made them tick. The Swami nonchalantly stepped into the makeshift temple, took his seat at the front, face to face with these confused souls who were looking for real love, real happiness and real spiritual experience. The Swami was unfazed, his expression exuding bottomless depth and boundless compassion. In short, straightforward philosophical discourses he delivered eternal truths with resounding impact. When he sang in simple tunes with a bongo drum, their heads would spin and their hearts conquered. His tremendous devotion empowered his urgent message to penetrate the depths of their consciousness. He effortlessly smashed layers of illusion, unrelentingly exposing the fallacy of materialistic ideology. From these humble beginnings, Prabhupada went on to establish the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, ISKCON, and in a few short years made Hare Krishna a household name. He circled the globe 14 times, opened over a hundred temples, launched an array of spiritual welfare projects, and authored volumes of books. He made genuine spirituality inspiring, practical and accessible for one and all. No amount of social commentary, historical analysis or anthropological conjecture can account for his incredible achievements. Prabhupada's story is tangible proof of a spiritual miracle that defied all odds. His life and teachings remain the strength, inspiration and guiding light for millions and counting.